I'm on the hunt for the weirdest musical tech that I can find on the undeniably reliable, definitely reputable online retail service, AliExpress. This hunt is confidently claimed endless wonders available to me, and I intend to put that tagline to the test. But you know, money's a little bit tight at the moment, so I'm eager to unearth the weirdest gear that I can get my grubby little mitts on, on a basic budget of just £120. Let's see if I can't grab some bizarre bargains on this online emporium. Welcome to AliExpress, what should we start off with? Let's just put in music and see what comes up first. A dancing cactus, good start. 40p, yeah, let's go. What, what do you mean it's unavailable? Is there a really high demand for these things? 96% off. Yep, magic levitation, Bluetooth speaker, not like astronaut video. Does uh, this actually float? It's not an astronomical price, so I'll probably go for it. Add to cart. Why is it 20 pounds? Seven pound shipping. Okay. What am I buying here? Oh, oh, what's happened? Unusual traffic from my network. Uh, Smart glasses, Bluetooth call voice. Why are the names so long on this website? I mean, if I want to be the coolest dude on the planet, I could get that. Electric octopus claw. What are people using AliExpress for? Oh sweet, an ocarina. I don't have an ocarina, and this is only two pounds. Prices like these can't afford not to get it. Whoa, okay. Okay, that's unrelated to anything that I've just been searching for. I've never been on this website before, but it, it I, uh, Mm. Yeah. Let's search for instruments. Guitar effect pedal looper. I do need a loop pedal. Yeah, £20. Let's get that. From 81 quid. Pedals are expensive. If you look at any pedals out there, £100 is, you know, a reasonable amount of, to pay for it. £25. Oh, crap. I've only got £12 left in my budget. Time to be a little bit more frugal with this. Let's just search strange music. Dog calendar. Bizarre music. That looks a bit... Hmm. Let's see what's in the world of fashion on AliExpress. I'm emo, but in a Gerard way. Musical puns on my forte. <laughs> I've still got 26 pounds. I've only got 12 pounds there. Neighbors are listening to great music, whether they like it or not. Yep. Yeah. Poster, love it. No, stop. Wait, it's gone down again. Oh, this is a weird problem to have. I've got 30 pounds. What is going? Uh, well, uh, I don't understand. Can it only deliver me 10 things at once? So it keeps on knocking things out of my cart. Wait, you cheeky, cheeky person. 40p, 641. 40p, 641. I hate this website, man. I can't, I can't stand it. Wait, you're taxing me? It's broken me. It's broken me. I keep on buying more things and it keeps on getting... Okay, I've worked it out. I've removed a couple of things. <laughs> I'm 7p over my budget. I'm fine with that. AliExpress, you are a confusing, confusing website. Unavailable item. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> that was uh, stressful and bizarre and a little bit crazy. I am placing this order now. Uh, some of the items say they're going to come in a couple of days, some of them say they won't come until next month. So I will see you guys when all of that stuff arrives. I, I need to lie down. <laughs> Many unbearable hours later. Wild buddy. Hey champ. You okay? Yeah. Mate, come on, it's just a website. No, AliExpress isn't meant to be cheap and easy. And it kept recommending me weird sex things. <laughs> Look, it's the internet. The internet is filled with weird sex things. Mate, come on. No! Wild! I'll go off editing wild. Look, come on, all the stuff's arrived. It only took a few weeks. Come to the sofa, do the unboxing. I've got cake. What kind of cake? Uh, carrot cake? Let's What's roll! Wrong? No, don't walk in front of... Why did you do that? Do you have any idea how long that's going to take to mask? Ah, so... I know, I know, I'm being a bit melodramatic here. I'm just not used to having these extra charges at the end of whatever I'm ordering. Maybe that's in part because I'm used to Amazon Prime now, but also as a Brit, we don't normally have to add tax onto the end of whatever we're buying. Also, the taxation does make sense. This stuff is coming in from overseas, and so the import tax is gonna be there. Why didn't I see that tax in another online retail service I used recently? 
Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like carrot cake. First item on the agenda today. This was the very first thing I found when looking for weird things on AliExpress. It's the little cactus, dancing cactus. Look at this beautiful boy. I love very good, arrive too fast. I arrive soon and it's his mother. I recommend it. I really like the product, thank you. With additional feedback, I really liked the product, thank you. The one star review says doesn't work, a scam. And the two star review, two arrived very beautiful, but one came with the neck, humpback. Let's see what this little guy's all about. Wait, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't expect him to come with batteries. I'm fully used to these things arriving and... Do you mind? So it's one of those daft little gadgets which just repeat back what you say to it. It's meant to have do music as well. Happy birthday, my First song that comes up is Happy Birthday to You and it says Happy Birthday to You, my girlfriend. Everybody out there, for your girlfriends this year, for their birthday, make sure you get them a dancing cactus. I can guarantee that they will react to it. I can't guarantee what that will actually do for your love life. I I suppose you get what you pay for. <laughs> Technically 10 out of 10, I suppose. For first gadget, not too bad. That is definitely weird. <laughs> Up next, we have got a space age marvel. Using futuristic maglev technology, we have descending from the skies themselves. A suspended light speaker. It advertises it online with maglev technology. So I'm really eager to see how this actually works. Is it actually going to float? Shiny LED light strip audio visual feast. A tribute to innocence and romance. And most concerning of all, the romantic world heats up love. Yeah, no, enough of that. The packaging for AliExpress is I want to say the packaging is better than I was expecting, but at the same time, a lot of this stuff actually only came wrapped in polystyrene. No box, just polystyrene and tape. It's come with a cable, so that helps. Use these precautions, use the product for its intended purpose only. Oh, check him out, he looks well happy. Right, he's on a little cord. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, no, okay. Houston, we have a problem. Your dad's in. The cable is very short, which makes life quite awkward. If you move it around, the, the bloke just falls and dies, like, constantly. But it looks nice. Look at that. Bluetooth mode. It's a little bit muffled, but the sound is not too bad. It's quite quiet. It was a little bit confusing because there wasn't a single customer review for this product, so I had no idea what to expect. It advertises the function as a powerful base, which she didn't know. Suspension technology, which I think it means a little tiny wire and a magnet at the top. Yeah, six out of ten. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's a fun novelty. Whee. Moving on to a very special product now. It's got minimal functionality, but it's the only product with a full five-star rating. <gasps> Admittedly, it only has one review, but that's absolutely fine because it's just a poster. My neighbours are listening to great music, whether they like it or not. This is the one obligatory cat-related item in my hall because the wife absolutely loves cats. <laughs> it gets approved by the wife. The product description for this poster was particularly worthy of note, considering that it's just a big square of metal. I think they were trying to sell it as a lot more than it actually was, but considering it's got a five-star rating, fair enough. The tin sign has many usages. Right, okay. Suitable for yourself, mother, father, sister, brother, friend, colleague, neighbour, teacher, doctor, etc. Doctor! Tin metal poster. Very good. Approved by wife. Five stars. I'm feeling fashionable. I'm feeling functional. I'm feeling a little bit modern. I've got some Bluetooth glasses. Some excellent reviews for this product. I am very happy. Came very quickly. I liked the glasses. Good quality. Sorry, it got big. And the drums are short-lived in musicals. Sensational products. This packaging is really nice. Unlike everything else, which has come as kind of like, this is actually, oh wow. Look at that. Well, there's a lot of care has gone into these. These are really sturdy. I mean, okay, they look about the dorkiest glasses on the planet. If that's your thing, that's absolutely fine. Call Andrew Hello? Hey Andy! Oh, hello. Oh yeah, guess what I'm doing? I couldn't possibly. I'm calling you with my glasses. 
You're calling me with your glasses. Yeah, so Bluetooth glasses. So it connects up to my phone and I can use the voice assistant and it calls you. Ah, clever. Uh, what's the quality like? It's pretty good. It sounds like a phone, so I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Cool, man. All right, I'll catch you later. All right, see ya. All right, bye. As glasses go, you know, they're all right, you know, they, they're fairly comfortable. The, these bits come off, which then, yeah, insofar as them being Bluetooth compatible, yeah, I don't know why. Ah, I think it's my go. One other incredible feature about these glasses, when you put them on, you become insanely good at pool. Honestly, the price I paid for these glasses, I, I don't think it was really good value for money. They're nothing more than novelty at the end of the day. The sound quality that comes in is not fantastic, even if the call quality is pretty good. And in order to do anything, you have to press these weird little, they're not even pressable buttons, they're just touch sensors at the side of the glasses, which are temperamental as anything. Overall, practicality, about a three, novelty, an eight. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. They look all right. <laughs> Right, right, and now we're going to be going straight into the looper pedal. I've wanted a looper pedal for absolute years, but they are generally quite expensive. This is stored really nicely as well. This packaging is good. This is the Lakata Loop Stage Mini Pedal, and this is the smallest pedal that I own for sure. These pedals are really popular with artists such as Newton Faulkner and Ed Sheeran. It allows them to sound like they have more on stage than is actually there, effectively allowing you to be a one-man band. Let's give this guy a go. I'm actually really looking forward to this, like, seriously. <laughs> so the most awkward thing about this is that you've got to time your foot taps on the pedal in order to make sure that your loops actually come out correct. That's a little bit on the awkward side. Ladies and gentlemen, looping blues. <laughs> was so much fun. I love this thing. Considering it only cost me about 20 something pounds and normally I've found them online for about 40 or 50, this is great. It takes a lot of getting used to, but this is great. In terms of practicality, it's currently a three because I'm just not very good at it, but that will go up. In terms of value for money, nine? Easily a nine. Wonderful piece of equipment right there. You know it's been too long this video about some pretty lights? Let's dive straight into the next product. <laughs> Really looking forward to this next product because it was one of the things I ordered from Teemu, but it arrived broken. It is the RGB lights. Now I don't have a lot of faith in these because the ones that I got from Teemu, whoops, the ones that I got from Teemu didn't seem very good quality. But this, this feels a lot nicer. It feels a lot better. The plastic is still not great. No, n none of this is great. But it is feeling a little bit better, a little bit sturdier. Now this should actually work with sound. It acts as a kind of visualizer. We have light! <laughs> oh, there we go, look. It's actually, it is responding to my voice, which is fantastic. It's got a good range of colors that you can uh, switch it on to, so I really like this. This is, this is fun. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this next product, because it's a little bit 
shocking. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the lightning ball thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's one of those really cool objects where you put your fingers on it and it lightning casts out towards your hands. Rachel, do we have a European plug anywhere, please? No. What, one of those? We do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Ooh, pretty. Some great descriptions for this product on AliExpress. Tips. The product is connected through the thermal power 220 volt EU plug, 12 volt low voltage output. So yeah, it did actually say it was an EU plug, so that was on me. Safe to use, absolutely no harm to the human body. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's perfectly safe. It doesn't taste very good though. I probably shouldn't have done that. This product arrived literally like this. There wasn't even a box. It literally arrived in this polystyrene and some tape. Two very conflicting reviews for this product here. Five stars. Super. We buy the big one. This is very worth it. Wine very well packed and it works amazing. What's this meant to come with wine? Alternatively, the one star review. The bullet arrived damaged. Speaks to the science nerd in me. Now I would rate this very highly, but unless I'm very much mistaken, it's meant to come with alcohol and ballistics. It came with neither. One star. We're very near the end of my AliExpress haul here, guys. I've got one last product that I need to show you. And it's pig and weird. DJ Pig. I, I mean, there's not really much more I can say, is there? I'm pretty certain this was the first thing that I found on AliExpress when I was hunting for weird stuff, so this pretty much ticks all the boxes for me. I tried to find the same link for this product on AliExpress after I recorded that part of the video, and it's gone. So I've got no reviews for it, I've got no description for it. I'm pretty certain I have left the strangest for last. What I'm trying to do with this series is show what you can get on a budget online. Maybe you're not going to get the highest quality products, but you might be able to find something fun, funny, or even really useful. But AliExpress, you'd still have a very weird, confusing website. Sort it out. Please leave a comment down below to let me know what other sort of things you would like to see me buy from interesting online retail stores. With all that being said, thank you once again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.